Section 6.3, example 3. So half-life is another example of exponential models. So the amount of drug remaining in the blood T hours after an initial dose, which sounds super important, right? Doesn't that sound like that P0, the initial amount? Let's write that down immediately. So the amount of a drug remaining in the blood after an initial dose is administered can be modeled using an exponential equation. So we're gonna assume half-life is 16 hours. We'll talk about that in a second. And we wanna find a couple things. We wanna find the exponential decay function for the amount of blood in the body, amount of drug in the blood, sorry. Um, how much remains after 16 hours, how much remains after 32 hours, and then how much remains after 40 hours. So let's set up a table to understand how half-life works. So we have T and we have the amount of the drug. And we know at time zero, we have 100, because that's the initial dose. And so half-life, it sounds really scary, but all half-life tells me is that 16 hours later, it cuts in half. So what's half? 50. And this pattern continues. So then another 16 hours would be 32, and it cuts in half again. So at 32, it would be 25. And so then let's just do it one more time just so we can understand the pattern. So another 16 hours passes, so that would be 48 hours, and it cuts in half to 12 and a half. So that's all half-life is, is every 16 hours, it cuts in half. So we've actually already answered two parts of this question. 16 hours, we have 15 milligrams. 32 hours, we have 25 milligrams. So we can do those two without even finding the equation. 40 hours doesn't quite fit the pattern, so we'll need the equation for 40 hours, right? Because that would be somewhere in between 32 and 48. So 16 hours, 50 milligrams remain. And then 32 hours, 25 milligrams remain. So let's do the rest of the question. Let's find the equation, and we'll use that to find 40. So if I want to find the equation, I know the equation will be P of T equals 100 E to the KT, because 100 is my initial amount. And we'll just plug in one of these three points. I'll probably just plug in 16, because that's the first one. So what we know is E, 100 E to the K times 16 for time equals 50, and we'll solve for k, the growth rate. So if the growth rate's not given, we have to solve for it. So I'm going to divide both sides by 100. Divide both sides by 100. And so we get 1 half equals e to the 16k. And so if we want to solve for k, we just take ln of both sides. ln of 1 half equals ln of e to the 16k. ln and e cancel out, so ln of 1 half equals 16k. If you Google half-life, you will find formulas, but the formulas are confusing if you don't understand what's going on. So I really think it's easier to just set up a table and solve for k because then you're actually gonna understand what's happening rather than just mindlessly plugging into formulas. So I'm gonna go ahead and divide both sides by 16, divide by 16. So that's the exact value of K, ln of 1 half over 16. You're welcome to estimate, just keep a bunch of decimal places if you estimate. So I am gonna estimate just to show you something, what's going on here. Oops, ln of 1 half over 16. I accidentally typed 6. There we go. And we're getting a negative K because it's decaying, right? Um, this drug isn't growing in your body, right? It's decreasing after you took the dose. So K is negative. So that's why I wanted to do the division so you'd see that it's negative. So negative 0 0.0433, right? It's negative for decay. 
the drug should be decreasing. And so the final question was what happens after 40 hours? So since we have time, we'll just plug in 40 hours. So P of T is 100 E to the negative 0 0.0433 T. So we'll find P of 40. So 100 times E to the negative 0 0.0433 times 40. Make sure the negative 0 0.0433 and the 40 are both in the power. If you don't have the ability to do that, then go ahead and multiply them first. And then do 100 times E. And then when we did negative 0 0.0433 times 40, we got negative 0.1732. Um, but if I'm able to type everything at once, I find that a little bit easier. So we get 17.69 milligrams. And that makes sense with the table because it's in between 25 and 12.5. Um, and that's half-life. So if you set up the table and just cut it in half every half-life, it's not too bad.